Hello, my friends, and welcome to Polina Art. Today, I'm going to talk about color and what are the only colors that you really need. We are going through some rough times in the world and we can't afford or find the supplies that we need to create our art. So I'm going to show you today that you only need five colors in order to create all of your paintings. The colors that I've chose are, of course, my primary colors, blue, red, and yellow, as well as white and black. Now, you can have a dark brown instead of black, either a black or a dark brown. For the purpose of this video, I chose the black. There's a lot of palettes in the market that are very affordable and have an array of colors, but they can be expensive for some people. So if you build your own palette with these five colors, I think it's definitely more affordable. Now, they have palettes with the primary colors, but I feel it's better to create your own because sometimes the colors are not true primary colors. The reds tend to be more like a magenta colors. And sometimes if they are not primary or pure colors, it might be more challenging to create your other colors. Okay, let's start my friends. I have here white, black. This is not a primary blue really. It's more of a darker blue, but I think it's gonna work fine. And I have a red and my yellow. And with this, just with these colors, I can create any color that I want. I'm, I'm gonna demonstrate with just a few colors. I have some green here. I have this pretty green and I'm gonna to try to make a very similar color. And for that, I'm gonna pick up my blue and some yellow. And I'm gonna start mixing a little bit and see if I can come up to something similar. Now this is a dark green, so it has more blue. Let's see. It is very similar, but in order to make it even closer, I think I'm gonna add a little drop of red. And that's the thing, you have to play with the colors. And this is pretty much the same color. So all I did was use a lot of blue, a little bit of yellow, and a tad of red. Okay, let's do an easy one. I have some of this pretty blue. Now I'm gonna to try to create a similar color. I already have my blue in here. I have to add some white to lighten up my blue a little bit. Let us see. Now this one is a little bit darker. I've added some more blue. I've added even more blue now. And that is, I would say it is very similar. And you can see how close the colors are. All you have to do is manipulate the amounts to get the color that you like. Let's do a more difficult one. This is a really pretty purple. I'm gonna try to create a similar color. And to create this color, I'm going to pick up some of my blue and some of my red. Needs more red. I 
and I can tell mine is darker, more blue. So I'm going to add more red. I'm going to add more red to my mixture. And this combination is starting to look very similar to this purple. You might want to add even a little drop of white. Let's try that. And with a drop of white, it made it even more similar to this purple. And with another drop of white, it makes it almost, almost identical. I'm not sure how the camera is picking up the colors, but they look very, very similar in person. This one is another one of my favorite colors. It is called Berry Wine. Now I'm gonna to try to create a similar color. And since I already have my purple mix in here, I'm going to add more red. I need a little more red. Now I'm going to add a little more red in there. And it's this one is very, very similar. My this is more concentrated rich but the color is very similar because my brush has a little bit of water because I've rinsed it, but the colors are very, very close. Now let's try to create a basic color, a brown, let's say. To create a brown, you can do it, you can do different mixtures, but a simple one is to pick up a little bit of black and a little bit of red. And this creates a nice dark brown. And if you want it lighter, you can add a little bit of yellow. And they'll give you a lighter brown. Of course, your oranges are very easy. To create a nice orange, all you need is red and some yellow. You can also make brown with green and orange. Since I already have my orange here, I can pick up some of the green I mixed before. And this creates a nice lighter brown. You wanna create a very simple one is just to create some pink. For pink, we pick up white and a little bit of red. And you can create all different shades of pink just by adding more or less red. We can add some of our berry wine in here. This creates a beautiful pinky, blue pinky color. If you want to make your red lighter, 
don't add white because that's always going to make a pink. If you want a lighter red, just add some yellow. This is our red, which is a nice deep red. I'm gonna put it in here. But if we want a lighter version of this red, we're just gonna add a tatty tad of yellow. And this is gonna give us a lighter red, more like a coral. You can add more red to it if you want it a little darker. In conclusion, by having our primary colors, plus black or brown and white, you can create all your other colors. And if you use a limited palette, your paintings are going to look more professional. And it's gonna be easier because you create your own colors as you go along, instead of being confused with palettes that have a lot of colors. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I hope you learned something today. Subscribe to my channel if you don't wanna miss any future content from me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.